So I want to tell you about Inlet's Cloud. This is a conceptual architecture. This is a, a product that exists from OpenFAS Limited. And what it does, it allows you to treat um, Inlet's Cloud as like a black box. And you can ask of it things. You can say, I want 10 tunnels, 100 tunnels, I want 10,000 tunnels, and it will make that happen for you. Now, if you look at the left-hand side of this diagram, you'll see remote service one and two. So we're talking about smaller numbers as we sort of think this through. Each of those remote services might be running on a client's network. It might be one of your SaaS customers. It might be an IoT device. It could even be um, your laptop. Once that establishes a WebSocket tunnel, there'll be a persistent TLS connection between that client and an inlet server process so that your API at the bottom of the diagram can then make requests to that through a tunnel proxy. And it may be that you have something like um, you have a, an API on premises that you want to invoke. It may be that um, one of the examples we've seen in the community is you're controlling a Kubernetes cluster remotely. You're deploying to it, you're managing it for a customer, maybe you're collecting logs. But you don't have to know about Kubernetes. All you need to know about is how to run an inlets client tunnel, and you need to use our REST API to create which ones you want, retrieve their token and secret, and then from there, you can go and scale them to zero when they're not being used and save on costs on your cloud bill. You can rotate the tokens. Um, so I'm gonna quickly show that to you. Now the easiest way to think about this is through um, the CLI. So I have a cluster here that's got Inlet's Cloud deployed and I'm gonna run the CLI. From here, we can see the CRUD operations that I talked about and this idea of rotating a token important um, for when you've got remote connections, perhaps one of your passwords got leaked out. So the list command will effectively look and see if there are any inlets tunnels available. There aren't. I'm gonna create one, let's call it demo one. And let's just see if there's any other parameters we need. So that's all we need. Now at this point, that has already been created and it's ready to receive traffic from a client. And you can see it here and exactly when it was created. Now our next step might be to go ahead and get the token for demo one, or actually probably what we want to do is we want the connection string. And here what we can do is say what my domain is, which is t.o6s.io, and that's for open fares. Um, and then I just want to put an upstream in here as well. This is what service I want to expose. Obviously you can change this value. I'm gonna do a Python HTTP server, that's on port 8000. Um, and then I just need the name of it as well. So let's put that first. And now we have a connection string. This is something that I can now run on a computer, let's say my private network at home. I actually have a, a Raspberry Pi here. It's running Ubuntu. And I'm going to create a temporary file. Remote access, okay. And then run Python, simple HTTP server. In fact, we'll, let, let's see if we can do this in two windows. That's now running on port 8000 and we need inlets. So do we have it yet? We don't have it. Let's get it from the internet. That's downloading the binary and you can see this is an ARM64 machine. So it's been able to get exactly the right binary for us. I'm now gonna run the command and we should be connected now. Going back to the uh, the original site in the CLI, it tells us that the tunnel and WebSocket connects on a different subdomain to where we actually access this from. And if you do want to access these things um, publicly, this is a great way of doing it, but you may just want them to be private. And then rather than having them exposed on the internet, you can access them through the tunnel proxy using the REST API. So you've got to decide what's the best fit for you. Now there we go, 
within a very short period of time, I've been able to stand up a tunnel. It's using a wildcard TLS certificate and a dynamically provisioned inlets server. It's all worked really well. Now there's also a, um, a REST API here. Now with the REST API, you can access um, these services from the internal cluster port. You can port forward these if you have access to the inlets cloud cluster and access them that way. You can use over TLS over the internet like we just did there. And then we've also got this REST API. So you can go ahead and access a REST API once you've got your secure token and start invoking it. Uh, here is how we would create a token. So we post to V1 tunnel and pass in a name. Another option here is for us to get a tunnel back, delete a tunnel, and you'll also be able to scale them up and down. So not only do you have a CLI to manage these tunnels and get thousands of them all managed by Inlets Cloud, but you've also got the ability to just go um, and scale them down, create them ad hoc. Um, and as you can see, I just have to connect the client. And we could even go and create another one of these simply by running um, the create command and passing in a name. So we have demo two. And now we have something that's similar to the architecture on the diagram. We've got two clients that might be on two remote networks. Both can connect in and then it's up to us whether we want to expose those services on the internet, add authentication to them, um, or do something completely different where the only way to access them is through the tunnel proxy and the REST API. So there's a quick demo of Inlets Cloud. If you would like to try it, please get in touch with us, sales at openfast.com. You can also find a little bit more about this on the Inlets website, inlets.dev slash blog. And there is uh, a post that talks about all the kinds of advanced patterns that you can run through and how some customers are actually using this and have a similar pattern on premises. But why build this yourself when you can get it um, fully tested and customize it? So feel free to reach out. Thanks.